Question from David, how do you go, please? Do you agree with the United States Senate's call for an official investigation into Scotland's release of Abd al Basat al Megrahi? This is the release of, uh, which was agreed by the Scottish Minister of Justice of al Megrahi when uh, they were told, or it was, we, we were all assured, he only had three months to live. Uh, he's now lived nearly a year. The Americans are angry about it, and uh, many families in Scotland who lost. Uh, members of their family from it are also angry about it. And then the US senators now want an official investigation into that decision. Um, Michael Forsyth, do you think there should be an official investigation? Yes, I do. Uh, I was very surprised that he was released. We were told that he was released because he'd only got three months to live. It, it was a year ago. Um, it was the most appalling atrocity that we've experienced. Uh, in Scotland, and, and I hope um, we'll never see anything of its like. Uh, and I think um, the government made a mistake. So um, I, I, I would be sympathetic. Um, I still do not understand uh, why this was done uh, and the reasons behind it. And I thought the, at the time, I thought it was extraordinary when the Justice Minister actually went to visit um, Megrahi in prison. I mean, we don't want to spend time talking about all of that, but I, I think it was a great, a great mistake, and we were. We were assured that he was about to die imminently and that this was being done on compassionate grounds. Well, he seems to be surviving quite well. Do you blame the Scottish government or the Labour government of the day? I, I suspect that there was, there was probably a channel uh, operating there and I suspect it had quite a lot to do with um, oil interests in Libya. But um, who knows? That's purely speculation on my part. All right. Um, Nicola Sturgeon, do you think uh, that there should be an independent investigation of the decision the Scottish Justice Minister took? Uh, no, I don't. But I do understand the views of the American senators, uh, just as I understand the views of those who think uh, the decision was the wrong one. I think it was the right decision. It was an incredibly difficult decision for Kenny McCaskill to have to make it it's probably the most difficult decision uh, any minister, certainly in the lifetime of the Scottish Parliament, has had uh, to make. Uh, the advice to Kenny McCaskill from the Director of Health at the Scottish Prison Service was that three months' life expectancy was a, a reasonable prognosis. Now, when Kenny McCaskill announced the decision the Justice uh, last minister, year, I the say, yes. Justice Secretary uh, announced the decision last year, he said very openly and very honestly, that you can never be exact about anybody's life expectancy. Three months was a reasonable prognosis. He might die sooner than that. He might live longer. He has lived longer than that. But what is beyond doubt is that he is terminally ill. He is going to die. He was released on compassionate grounds. Nobody can ever change the dreadful, dreadful crime that he committed and nobody can bring his victims back. But one of the things that makes us different from terrorists like him is that we do have values, we do value human life, and we can act with compassion. The Prime Minister, said, the the Prime Minister said about this, uh, if it's about release on compassionate grounds, I think it's wrong. This man murdered 270 people. He showed them no compassion. They weren't allowed to go home and die with their relatives. I think it's a very bad decision. What do you say to that? Well, I, I'm going to resist getting drawn into party politics over this. Because, well, why do you call it party politics? Well, because I don't think... Well, you know, David Miliband, for example, said that the UK government didn't want him to die in a Scottish jail. It, it, it's an incredibly difficult issue. It's a very emotive issue. Had the decision gone the other way, uh, there are many people, including some of the families of the Lockerbie, Lockerbie victims, who would have said that it was wrong to keep him in jail. It was a dreadfully difficult decision. I think it was the right decision, but more importantly, I think it was a decision taken for the right reasons. Uh, um, Jack Straw said it was partly because of trade, didn't he? Was that the right reason? Jack Straw said it, it was part, but, part, like, partly well, to do with I, the I trade deal on oil. Was I, that I, a good I, reason? That was not the reason. I mean, this, this was a decision taken by the Scottish Government, taken by the Scottish right. Justice Secretary. It was not taken for any uh, reasons of trade or international politics. Douglas it was Alexander. taken on the grounds of compassion. One thing that I agree with Nicola on was it was a decision that was reached by Kenny McCaskill, a Scottish Minister. Let me uh, take up her offer of not making it about party politics. Let me try and answer the question in a different way. First of all, I think it was a difficult decision, but I think it was very badly handled. I'm a Scottish solicitor by profession. The idea of the Scottish Justice Minister goes and sits and negotiates with a prisoner in Greenock Jail, I just think is grotesque, point one. Secondly, Nicola talks about compassion. 
What Kenny McCaskill actually said was he is now subject to the judgment of a higher authority. That was because this man had cancer. Now, for any of us who have had family members suffering from cancer, I find that a grotesque and offensive statement. And thirdly, just as a Scot, to see the saltire yeah. being waved at Tripoli Airport as this man got off the plane, I personally find stomach churning. Would you like an official investigation into the decision as the American senators are asking for? Well, I understand the depth of feeling in America because of um, Pan Am 103. I'm not sure there is more to investigate. He reached a decision. I think, as I say, it was as a consequence of very muddled thinking. But I think it speaks to the sense of outrage that there still is in the United States about the decision and the basis mm. of the decision that Kenny McCaskill reached. And what do you, what, hold on a second. What do you make?